everyone, and today I want to show you an amazing tool that can change your data into a chart with a single prompt. It can create a wide variety of chart types, pie charts, bar charts, scatter plots, and line graphs, and will instantly download the charts if you want to add them to your presentations. So this is a completely free tool. It's called Chat to CSV. And the first thing you need to do is go to chat to CSV. You can find it on Google or chat to CSV.com. Okay, so once you've clicked on it, it will take you to this home page and you have to sign in. So you uh, sign in from here. And once you've signed in, you'll see this interface in front of you. And the first thing that you need to do is go to upload the file. And you'll notice here that it says CSV file only. So that's the only type of file you can upload. You can't upload Excel, for example. Um, so we will upload our CSV file from here. So once you've uploaded your file, you'll find that all your variables start to show on the left hand side. So, for example, I've got here country, region, population, areas, population density. And if I just pull up my CSV file, uh, you'll find that these match up to the variables that I have on the top of my CSV file. Okay, so for my first prompt, I'm gonna write, show me five, I'm actually gonna write here country so that it matches with the variable titles on the side rather than countries. Show me five country with the largest population. Okay, and I'm gonna enter that query. Okay, and you can see that instantly we now have the five countries with the largest populations. And if we go back to our CSV file and we wanna check this information, so I'm just gonna land on here, I'm gonna sort largest to smallest. And you can see China, India, United States, Indonesia, and Brazil. And if we compare that with our charts, you can see China, India, United States, Indonesia, and Brazil. Okay, let's try a second prompt. And this time I'm gonna write, show any country that has a literacy, and you can also see that literacy is one of my variables here on the side, of less than 50%. Okay, I'm gonna enter this query. Okay, and what you'll find here is that now it's given me all the countries that have a literacy of less than 50%. Okay, and so if I go to my data sheet again, and I go to my literacy column. So I've got literacy here and I sort and I look for the countries that are less than 50%. So you can see these countries over here and you can see that that matches with what we have obtained in our graph quite accurate. And you can see it's titled here, percent, literacy percentage less than 50%. And if you hover over any of the graphs, uh, the bar graphs, you can find that it will tell you the exact percentage and you can also download the chart here. And if we open the image, you can see that it's given us this bar chart and you can always remove the watermark. So I could have another prompt here and say, show me the top five countries with positive net migration and the top five countries with negative net migration. Okay, and I'm gonna enter that. Okay, and I've asked it to do a comparison here between two different sets, positive and negative. And you can see it's given me a lovely chart that um, has the positive net migration on one side, and it shows me the countries and the actual net migration that we have. And then it shows me the negative net migration as well. Okay, and you'll always see that I'm using the variable terminologies from what I have in my sheet, and that's really important in order to get the right output. Now, for the last few queries, I focused on or it's given us uh, bar graphs as the output. Let's see what happens when we specify a specific type of graph. And for the next prompt, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to say create a scatter plot showing area, or let's say showing population versus area. And again, using the variables that I have in my sheet. So I'm gonna enter that query. And you can see that I've got a lovely scatter plot here that allows me to quickly visualize my data. I can see that the majority of the countries are here in this um, smaller left-hand side corner, showing me that they have smaller populations and relatively smaller areas. And then I've got here 
uh, India with a much larger population, smaller to um, medium-sized area. Um, and then we've got countries here, China, for example, with a much larger population and an increasing area relatively in the middle. And then we've got Russia here with a small population, but a vast um, area. So very interesting in the way it does this. So if I press this one more time, for example, Sometimes it will change the, the style of the graph. The, it will reverse, for example, the variables. I'll get the area on this side, population on that side. So you can see now that, and sometimes it won't give me the data labels. So I'll have to enter the query again. So just be um, prepared that it might not give you the, the output that you want in the first instance. So just keep on pressing it and it will change. And maybe the next, the second or the third output could be more relevant. Okay, so let's do one last prompt and I'm going to ask it this time to tell me total countries in each region. And this time it's just uh, you know, how it will do the calculations, adding up the totals for each country. You can see sometimes it comes back with, sorry, try another query. And sometimes you just have to just enter the query again. Um, it's just like when you're using ChatGPT, for example, and it asks you to sometimes says an error and you just want to regenerate that. So now we've got the um, output. We can see that in Asia, uh, we've got the total 28 countries in Eastern Europe, 12 countries, we've got the largest number of countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, 51 countries. So again, a really nice looking uh, bar graph I can download and I can use uh, presentations just even to just visually analyze the data myself. So as you can see, it's such an amazing tool that can help us generate our graphs, our charts with a single prompt and can save us so much time from trying to create these graphs ourselves and can help us visualize our data. So I hope you found this video useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.